Hi, I'm Bowling Otter. And I'm Lizzie Sandwich. Welcome to the BS. The Bowling Otter Show. We're going to play The Last Door. Yeah. Episode 4, Ancient Ooh, Shadows. This is the last right? one for this season. Yeah. So this has been to, uh, really good. This has been. And we oh, were okay, in Here's like, our previously. Oh, oh, wonderful. That was nice of them. After escaping from his burial, Devitt oh. finds himself in a cellar of London's darkest slum. The old, the old nickel rookery. He's right. In his pocket, he has a ticket for a show called The Four Witnesses. Devitt walks through the misty streets following a strange man who seems to guide him. Through the he learns the legend of Simurg, the king of birds. Ah, uh, yes. Following his trail through a dreamlike land of fog, Devitt finally meets Alexander, a member of the seeker group Devitt and his friends had at school. Ah. Uh. Alexander welcomes Devitt and speaks of an entity called the bird that has been calling them ever since the experiment they conducted back then. Is that it? That's all? There is no turning back. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Oh. I can't see the screen as, like, as well as I'd like. Okay. Hi. Oh. 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 Okay, Are I'm, you I'm him the now? other dude, yeah. I have made my mind. I have made You my made your mind, mind from scratch? You made your mind? I'm ready. I have made my mind. From scratch. Okay. Let's Go see. on. Do it. Uh oh. Do it. What? Yo. How's our shot? Do it. Yeah. What? Do it now. Do it. Oh, twinkle, twinkle. Oh my goodness. Can you see all these stars twinkling in the black outer abyss? All the constellations traced by human eyes in long distant eras? Ah. Uh. This reminds me of sword and sorcery right now. Right? <laughs> Look now to the far side of the valley, to the old tower. From the last tree in the distance, to the scars in the sky, the stars, not the scars, and even the stones beneath our feet are just silhouettes that hide the truth of our poor senses. Ah. Uh. Ancient shadows that hang over the veil that hides the world. As if it were the curtain of a theater, the veil separates the truth from the lie. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh. The Veil is a place, Devitt. A place of mists. And fought. Anthony's great abilities brought you here, but his influence will soon fade away. The oh. mask of lies will descend over your eyes once again. Is this like the Matrix? It looks like it. Oh. I'm upside Whoa. down. You must find the door as I did. Oh, don't be sad. The door that gives passage through the veil. Yo. Open it and we will walk together beyond the mist. Ermagerd. Okay. Ermagerd, indeed. I suppose you are wondering why I called you so urgently. Meow. I cannot deny it, your letter was truly mysterious. I have been traveling, Doctor, to Scotland. Have you heard about the massacre of St. Gall? Why, yes, the tragic event has been continued, the continued object of speculation and grim rumor in every newspaper in England. For weeks now, pamphlets have claimed that all kinds of macabre things took place. Macabre. But I don't understand. How is all this connected with my patient? Uh oh. He was there. I'm afraid he is one of the victims. Ooh. Dear God. Um. Are you telling me my patient yeah. has been murdered? Are you telling me my patient has been murdered? Murdered? Thankfully, no. Please excuse me for alarming you. I did not mean to give this impression. Air Devitt was attacked, oh. but survived. Okay, so we're Devitt's doctor now. Yes. What was um, Devitt doing there? Well, it's, okay. What was oh. Devin doing there? Oh, Many years ago, the St. Gall Hospital was a boarding Damn school. It. it appears that both your patient and Mr. Beach were spent a part of their youth together. We can assume that Herr Devitt was investigating something. He believed he had found a clue related to his friend's death. And was buried alive. What happened to him? Yeah, right. It seems a criminal was caught by Herr Devitt in the midst of the act. Then he tried, uh -oh. tried to do the same thing to Devitt he had done to the others. Fortunately, the nuns arrived in time to unearth him from the coffin. Uh, unearth ah. him? Yes. Herr Devitt was hospitalized. Oh. The nurses report that he remained conscious for an entire day. Unconscious? What was yes. the cause of those awful deaths? <laughs> no one knows for sure. The victims were inflicted with terrible wounds. All of them had an expression of utmost terror on their faces. Oh. I suspect you did not find Mr. Devitt in the hospital. Indeed, he was already gone by the time I arrived. Are I have not been train? able to determine his whereabouts since. Yes, we are. Okay. I see. What conclusions do you draw from all these circumstances? I have some theories, but I will prefer not to reveal them until events have unfolded. In all of them, there is a fundamental element whose role has not yet been revealed. Oh. And what leads you to this conclusion? It is something that the Holy Sisters found beside Herr Devitt within the coffin. An empty hypodermic needle with traces <gasps> of an unknown substance. What? That is not good. That is what we say is bad. Oh no. There's a cabin in the woods, far across the plain. Were we doing the drugs? Ancient shadows. 
Oh. Doing the hypodermic needle drugs. Doing the hypodermic needle drugs. I see that we, we don't strike. We don't strike me as that type of person. Well, who knows? That makes sense, you know. I'm sure this is the place. Alexander's house must be just ahead. Oh, we're just gonna show up. Hi, remember me? Nietzsche Castle of Pevensey rests in the distance. It was a garrison first built by the Romans, but was abandoned and has been a ruin ever since. Oh. Um. Okay. I hear owls. I love owls. How awesome are owls? Are we owls? back to the church? A carefully crafted steel greenhouse is all but still in good condition. No, this isn't the church. Okay. Nope. Mm, it's latched. Nope. I can't open it from this side. Well, why don't you reach your hand around the top of it? Because it's only like shoulder length. Is that something height? I should have clicked on? No one is oh. asking. Perhaps you should go inside anyway. Oh. Just tell the household that I'm an old friend. Come to visit. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I couldn't, you couldn't. couldn't click on that. Okay. So make sure. Oh my God. Are we really going in there? Okay. A strange woman stares down at me, glaring with a silent reproach at my intrusion. Yeah. Yeah. I'd be like, why are you in my house? Jerk. Ugh. Footsteps. There must be someone upstairs. Uh, well, let's not go up there. You know, in this country, you could get shot. A well-crafted grandfather clock but seems to be out of order. One of the hands is missing. Oh, well, we gotta find that then. Is somebody playing a piano? It could be Pevensey Castle, but in this painting, the garrison is not in ruins. Oh. A couple of old teacups sit on the table. One of them is full and still warm. Someone was just there in their own house Whoa. using it. Oh. Oh, we should get some tea after this. I would love some tea. Yeah, it is cold up here, you guys. Cold. Just some old bottles. And oil lamp. Oh, that's nice. Let me get that. Thank you. Yay, oil lamps. Tight. Yeah, what I got this morning was 14 degrees. Not cool. 14 I mean, cold. degrees? Yep. Oh my God. After a certain, like, temperature, it just gets... Like freezing. Yeah. Although I'm sure somebody, somebody in like a very cold climate would beg to differ. Yeah, of course. You know what I mean? An ancient stone well, a rope hangs inside, disappearing into the darkness below. Can we pull that? Disappearing into the darkness. Why oh. is the rope hey, farting? Is it a whale? The rope is broken. I'll keep this end. It was a whale. It was a whale. Uh -oh. oh no. Uh oh. It looks like someone was buried here. Uh oh. I can't <gasps> dig with my bare hand. We'll get to dig somebody up. Yeah. Why? Because the dude must maybe bury oh, somebody alive. Oh yeah, there. yeah. Well, wait. Why would he have buried him alive? So door is locked. I need a key to open it. All right. Well, let's go back in here. All right. Well, we have a rope now. We have a rope. We Anything got a lamp. Anything else in the front here? Nope. Some old bottles that you There's can't. Some old bottles. Oh, I didn't look Ooh. at this. Pantry of spices and ingredients, but I can't do anything with it. What's this? Ah, there's something. All righty. This it's a diary. It's so the last thing written. The last pages have been ripped off. Uh -oh. October 12th, 1887. It's been a while since I can't devote any time to this diary for reasons beyond my control. An event most tragic has taken place in this house. Mr. Dupre has gotten ill, immersed oh. in an everlasting stupor from which, it seems, he shall not return anytime soon. Since the accident, I patiently take care of him. The doctor's treatments don't seem to do any good. I feed him like a child and make sure that all of the sculptures in the house are turned towards the wall. What else can I do? Oh, so it sounds like his friend Anthony mm -hmm. Beach Beachworth. Beachworth also went like <clears throat> kind of nuts. Yeah, uh, I think everybody so, that was at that meeting. Yeah, went a little. little a clockmaker just too. left. He has done such a good job. In the end, oh. Mr. Dupre is not going to be able to notice a change in the clocks that he has so insistently requested. In his state, time will not be a problem anymore. Oh, okay. This looks like okay. Diary. Oh, a member of Alexander's household. What happened to them? What happened to them? Indeed. What happened? And who's making the tea? Who's making the warm teacups? Do we go upstairs? I guess we do now. I don't want to go up there, man. There's stand your ground laws. Too bad. This looks like... The uh, silhouette of a man that bears strong resemblance to Alexander. Well, maybe it is Alexander. Silhouette of a woman bears strong resemblance to a woman. Alexander. Oh, <laughs> And a fine like Alexander. Alexander dressed it does up bear as a quite a resemblance to Alexander. Look at it, though. A fine painting of the local Roman structures. They somehow seem more ancient in this depiction. And Alexander bears resemblance to me. Oh no. Oh. Lo-fi Alexander. Alexander. I'm just gonna uh, not talk to you for a second and check this first. Scribble the annotation of this piece of paper. The veil is something that we sense in our innermost being. Is right there. Vain do we waste our lives carving to tear through, craving to tear through. It is Jilathal. Wow. The Jailathal? Ja, ja Jailathal? Ja whatever. Jailathal would be. The curtain behind which the great wings beat. 
Inside okay. an ancient <laughs> mist inhabit the shadows of those who left. Okay. Jailathal. Jailathal. Cuckoo clock. clock's covered us. It seems to be missing an important piece. <gasps> the bird. A crew. What can you do with that? Face the clock has been turned. Oh, it has. Huh. So, so right now it says 11:15. 11:15, but if you looked at this normally, that would also say eight, eight o'clock. So maybe that has something What's to do with something. What's that piece on the right there? What is that? Oh, just to get out. I guess get. Okay. Can we talk to him? Alexander, it's me, Devin. I'm sorry if I startled you. Why are you sitting in a wheelchair? Is everything all right? Why are you sitting in a wheelchair? Are you hurt, maybe? Can you stand? He's staring blankly uh -oh. at some distant point, as if he has not heard my question at all. You told me I should come here, and I came as soon as I could. Can you tell me what is happening here? He has no answer, but persistently stares at something nearby. He appears to be in some kind of hypnotic trance. Uh... When I was downstairs, I could have sworn I'd heard footsteps. <laughs> Were they yours, or is there someone else in this house? Well, it can't be his, because he's not walking. Good point. For a moment, I felt a flash of hope that he was looking at me, but he is unresponsive. Oh, so he's like, Can't Alexander, please it? say something. I don't know what to do. I don't understand. Just what happened to him? Can I hit him with the rope? He looks <laughs> miles away. Matthew! Time up. You whip him with the rope. Time <laughs> Alexander! <up. laughs> That's Slide terrible. on fire. Okay, none of those things are working. Matthew! You'll All probably right. get a reaction. What's he, what's he looking at, then? Can you walk down there and get a look? You can't see no. him. You can't interact with any of this stuff. So for now, let's... Oh, did we look at this? Misty Dock overlooks a gray ocean. Goals, wheels, over a herd. No, overhead. goals, wheel, overhead. Okay, goals, okay. wheel, overhead. I can't read today, guys. I'm sorry. Holy moly. Okay. <clears throat> see what else is down here. Figurine of an angel facing the wall. Oh! Okay, so he thinks people are looking at him. So we got paranoid and crap. All right, portrait of an old man, maybe a ship captain. Looks like he's trying to guard his chest with a stern glare. Guard this chest. Well, let's look at it then. A huge chest made of oak wood. Open it. There's a large iron hook inside. All right. Take it. So I'll can... take this hook. There's a fragment of a diary oh, under the hook. How convenient. August 5th. I can't work in the basement anymore. Those wretched sculptures, I feel them stalking me in the darkness. Oh. I know it is not possible, but I can hear the crunches, the flapping wings, stone grinding on stone. Ugh. They're frozen paroxysms. With with what diabolical art were those gestures conceived? An eternal movement, a tension. An impossible struggle to get back the life they never had. I might place them outdoors in the greenhouse and let them mold and let the mold devour them and whilst make nests out of their hollow hearts. Wow, he's very Sounds deep terrible. and dramatic. Can you hook, hook and rope? rope? Totally. Yes. Now we have a hook rope. All right. Yay, hook rope. Was there something that we needed to get at the bottom of that whale? Maybe. A camera tripod. Oh, I take it down pictures. Can't take it. Okay. Pictures hanging from a cord. They look as if they were improperly developed and you could hardly Aww. distinguish anything. What was this? Ah, uh, water. Nice. Do we need a bottle of water? We had those bottles before. A basin with a copper drain. Copper drain. What do we need? Looks like some kind of red tinted glass cover used to mask a lamp. It's completely shattered oh. on the floor. This huh. be a dark room. A, la a lamp is hanging from the ceiling. Its bulb casts an intense white light. Look, they look like Poppity Papa Hood on the thing there. Oh. That was a great idea. Well, now we have a light bulb for some reason. Okay. Guess we thought it was necessary. A glass jar containing a yellow substance. The lid oh. reads, cyanide. Let me take cyanide. Sure, uh, why not? Maybe we can go kill Alexander. The image of a couple wearing rat masks at a festival. Those are supposed to be rat masks? Yes. Those look like Poppity Papa Hood. Poppity Papa Hood masks. So maybe he was the one with the mask on in yeah, the picture that I thought. Yeah, look like Poppity Hood. And it was a Hangy Hangerson. A Hangy Hangerson. Thank you, Thank guys. Thank you for helping us remember that. Oh, you guys are great. It is a big book of home chemistry recipes. A few pages have been bookmarked, and some articles are underlined. Ah. 3149, Collodion for photography. Collodion is a vehicle by which the... That's how you'd say that, right? Yep. Is a vehicle by which the photographic chemicals are united upon surface of the glass and the sensitive coating produced. Oh, okay. Many formulae are published for this article to which great value is attached. Some supposing that, it, that to its particular composition belong the principal causes of failure or success. This is only in a degree true. Okay, okay. develop a positive image. This is done by pouring upon the plate about one ounce of the vitriol spirit solution and only then adding five or six drops of the cyanide acid. Then the plate must be thoroughly washed in water to remove any excesses of the chemicals. Okay, so we're gonna have to develop the pictures. Yes. Okay, cause of failure, they would almost require a chapter by themselves. A long experience convinces us that nine out of every ten failures occur from a want of care, the presence of dirt, negligence. One cannot be over nice, careful, or cleanly. The best results always rewarding the most painstaking. If a mistake is made in the order specified in the formula, quickly flow clean water over the plaque and start again. Wow, that's uh 
That's such like a lost art, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. You know, digital, now digital everybody photography. just you know takes pictures with your phone. I took a photography class way back when, and we had to develop them in like a dark room and all kinds of stuff. And it was very cool and very hard, hmm. very very hard. But wow, this all is right. neat. An instrument whose workings are beyond my knowledge. No, we can figure it out, yo. Let's just start hitting it with something. Yeah. Okay, well, um... So, what do we do? Do we develop the... Well, we can't really develop anything. Yeah, we can't. Unless we get a new, another picture elsewhere and we come back, we need to develop and it. Develop it, yeah. Okay, okay, let's move on. Tricky! Okay. Oh, this was in those, uh, those side conversations where the doctor was here, right? Wasn't he? Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe the doctor was at Alexander's house and Alexander was here. Right. A bus with his face turned around. Everyone was looking at him. Who's the painting over the, uh, over the desk there? A large envelope of black oh. felt covered in dust and ashes is labeled with a warning. Do not open it under white light. Okay. We'll take it. Okay. A picture of an angel with a gentle face. Uh. It's a letter. Oh, no. Dear Alexander, I have excellent news. A contact from the university has given me access to a 12th century alchemical tome containing an amazing formulary. All right. There's no doubt that sometimes mere contemplation takes the mind to places that otherwise it would have never visited. Leafing through the grime and marveling at the exquisite illumination of its pages, I have been struck by a sudden epiphany, a radical but elegant method that I have decided to try. Uh-oh. Forgive me for not providing any information about the method itself. As soon as I get to fit def definite results, I will write you to write to you immediately. I believe fortune has truly smiled upon us today. Vedete de cuisiat. I forget what that means. Okay. So that was What's before that? everything. October, she said he was starting to go nuts. May this document serve as a record. The payment made corresponding to the following work. The cuckoo clock mechanism has been modified oh. to give the strokes exclusively at quarter past six in the afternoon. Six in the afternoon? Is it six o'clock like the evening? Quarter past six, yeah. In addition, uh, a special device and a switch have been added to synchronize all clocks in the house. Oh, okay. All right, so why would he want all the clocks synced up and then going off and at then, 6 15. right the shelf is lined with strange and complex books some titles include the movements of shadows preserving the mind and lessons beyond nature <laughs> okay now what do we do now do we go back down there and try and develop that do we have everything we need to do that we need glass actually i'm kind of curious we need red light yeah, yeah we need the red light maybe we could do it in the dark but we need red light can we go back outside and check the way okay. and put that hook and the rope down there? Yeah. Because maybe we'll pick something up. Oh, uh, there we go. All right. What did we get? You making butter? Something spooky. Okay. Yeah, I did make butter. Within, within the mud and dirt inside the bucket, there was a small oh, bird cuckoo. of brass. The cuckoo bird. Strangely enough, there doesn't seem to be any water in the well. Okay. All the, right. So I guess let's put that back on the clock, see what happens. Yeah. A little brass oh. bird was shaking. It makes a noise as if there was something inside. Oh. Okay. Bird fits perfectly. All right. So six. if we put this to 615, can we do that? No, we can't adjust this. We can't move it? No, we can only leave or look at it. We can't use anything in the inventory on it either. I'm wondering about the arm on the clock downstairs. Well, the bird definitely fit there. So maybe let's try to do something with this, with developing. I'm done by pouring... Upon the plate, about one ounce of the vitriol spear solution, and only then adding five or six drops of cyanide acid. Then the plate must be thoroughly washed in water to remove any excess of the chemicals. But we don't have any vitriol spirit. No. So we mm. need to find, we need to paint the light bulb, and we need to, um, dig somebody up. Oh. Is this where we came from? Oh, blood! Yo! The course of a deer, it's abdomen torn open. It looks recently dead. Oh, blood! The light yeah, bulb! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! We have a blight. Ugh. Now the bulb is grossly covered in blood. Cool! So now we're actually so going to be illuminated by blood. Yes, bloody That's light bulb! pretty nasty. For everybody! But wait, we don't have this vitriolic solution. Well, let's do this and see what happens. All right, so start with this. Oh, oh yeah. well, let's blood open it red up. room. Whoa. Inside the envelope, there's a glass plate, one side covered with an opaque substance. I've placed it in oh, the basin. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, is there... Can we actually go in here? Large iron bore... La bore. Large iron bore latching a door. Yay! Oh! Oh, it's latched from the outside. <gasps> okay. Oh! It's holding it in! All right. Uh-oh. This Something is creepy. Something locked in here. 
This pane looks as if it has been broken from the inside. How could you tell inside. that? Yeah, how could you tell that? How could that? you tell? Unless there's like, there's like um, glass all shattered on the outside, not inside. Oh, are these the statues? The statue of an angel covered in molds, glancing oh. at me with a sad gesture. Oh, he said he wanted to put the statues outside. Dry vitriol oil. Oh! I must be careful, it's a powerful acid. Okay, Ha-ha! cool. Then we could definitely, um... We could definitely do the uh, picture now. So we gotta do the vitriol oil. Yes. Okay, then cyanide. Then the cyanide oil is called a strong acidic reaction. Then cyanide. And then water. Apply the liquids in the correct order. All that remains is to rinse the plate. Yeah! We can follow directions. Image is appearing on the plate. It's a photograph of oh, Anthony an Alexander. Uh. Whoa, 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 whoa. How about we get the hell out of here? Whoa! What? What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Whoa. The bird people just showed up. No, it was the rat people, the people in the Oh, the rat, rat people, yes. All right, well, that's gonna be the end of that episode. Whoa. We're gonna see where this goes. This is this has been really cool so far, the yeah. whole way through. All right, well, if you like that awesome. video, please click like, favorite, and subscribe. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, bye. Bye. Now no. read it. Put the book on the shelf. Put the book in the shelf. Heard the lid of the glass case coming off! Huzzah! But there's something I made a sound over there for. And again.